Thanks for joining us. Our big story tonight, controversy at the state capitol. Arizonans are seeing yet another year of anti-LGBTQ bills introduced at the state legislature. From criminalizing physicians practicing gender-affirming health care to targeting trans youth's ability to participate in sports and keeping LGBTQ history from being even mentioned in public schools. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Mark Curtis. And I'm Cariba Devine. Team 12's Josh Sanders looks into the bills and asks the questions, why? Why are the, their bills targeting this community being introduced into legislatures across the country? I didn't give birth to my son 14 years ago, hoping that he would be discriminated against. Tucson mother Lizette Trujillo's mission in life is simple. Create a world where her son has the same opportunity as everyone else. When you're talking about access to medical care, when you're talking about sports, you can't talk about one without the other. Deja vu as a new wave of anti-LGBTQ bills are being presented in state legislatures across the country, including about a dozen in Arizona. Some of the bills would criminalize gender-affirming health care, ban trans youth from school sports, and classify homosexuality as sexually explicit in nature, banning it from public school curriculum. I heard a news report that a middle school in Scottsdale had a gender equity or, or transgender club, and that's rather controversial. State Representative John Cavanaugh is sponsoring House Bill 2011, which requires a parent's written permission before a student can join a school club involving gender identity or sexuality. I really don't know what's going on there, so even if there is no indoctrination, I think parents need to know about it and approve of their child's participation. So why are these types of bills continuing to be introduced year after year? It is rallying the base. Dr. Scott Barkley at Arizona State has researched LGBTQ plus legislation dating back to marriage equality. These bills tie to the cultural divide in politics more so than party constituents believe. There's not a lot of evidence that there's something specific that's triggering it. I mean, there aren't major national moves except in slowly growing greater acceptance around trans individuals and the role they play. Barkley says those politics have very real consequences for all Arizonans. It has an impact on people moving to the state. It has an impact on people taking up jobs in the state. It creates a different look for the, the state as a whole. Lizette wants her community to know that behind each of these bills are people. Our kids deserve to live their life freely. Josh Sanders, 12 News.